happen reside inside a camera. Okay, which means that instead of having a tradition, a PC with the recorder software, then you connect IP camera to it. With exact, we change this type of design. In fact, we further enhance by enabling exact vision and VR software to be loaded and installed into the IP camera. And IP camera itself, it, it now serves two functions as an IP camera as well as a NVR. And exact, uh, in terms of the operating system that we support, we support both Windows, meaning that we support Windows Server, Windows 10, uh, uh, even Windows 7, etc. Okay, we also support Linux. Okay, and on top of that, we also support virtual machine. Okay, we have uh, support VMware uh, or whatever, whatever virtual machine that we have. Okay, what we have is that we will provide you the operating system with its Ubuntu, okay, with exact vision installed. Then uh, in terms of the, the client, okay, we support Windows-based client, Linux, as well as the Mac. So on top of that, we also support web, we also support mobile uh, phones as well. So another, another angle you look at exact, okay? Earlier I mentioned that in terms of the support, in terms of the hardware, okay? Um, we support many, uh, many types of hardware. We do not restrict you to any single hardware. Now, in terms of how the user uses exact vision, okay? What we give is that, is the, the exact vision client is a multi-function client. Okay, meaning that uh, you do not need to install a software, okay, to do certain function. Once you downloaded the software and install the software, this client can fulfill numerous functions, okay, besides uh, using it as a day-to-day, -day, the security operator uh, manages and monitor the premises, this same client, we also can use it as a video wall. And the unique thing about the exact vision client is that whenever you launch <clears throat> a session of the client, okay, you have the full functionality of exact for that monitor. In this example here is that I have four monitors, it's like eight monitors. I only need to launch the exact vision client eight times and all these eight sessions of the exact vision client, I can, up, I can send it to different monitor. Okay, this different monitor, I can do independent actions okay, at that monitor, for example, one monitor are doing the max, one are doing the playback, okay? One are doing the configuration of the recorder, okay? One are having a switch view, okay? On and so forth. So what you have is independent function is being executed, okay? At different monitor without affecting the other, okay? Session that we have on the other screen. So that is the beauty of, uh, in terms of when the operators start using the exact, okay, they have, they are able to do multitasking, okay, with just a PC. Then from the scalability point of view, okay, in terms of exact, we have three addition, okay, we have start professional enterprise. But in terms of the software installer, there's only one. And the beauty of how we are able to manage this is through our unique license model. So for you to change between the various edition, unlike other products, okay, which you, you require to do some software installation, or some software enhancement. And once you upgrade, you can't downgrade. For exact, it's different. You can upgrade and downgrade at will. How you design the software is basically uh, 
<coughs> we make use of this thing called the license key. So in that, that <coughs> circle area in red, okay, this is the place where you key in or you upload the license key. So there is an algorithm behind the design of our license engine, okay? The software is able to enable or disable certain functionality, okay? So, so in terms of once you, you do any upgrading or downgrading, right, the downtime is very minimal. It's only a few seconds, okay? Once you upload the license, instantaneously, the new license will be, uh, I will start functioning immediately. Then on top of that, Okay, in terms of the upgrading of the software version, okay, it's also very simple. Okay, there are two ways of you to, to do the necessary upgrading. You can either use a USB thumb drive, okay, to do the standard installation over the existing uh, software. Or if there's internet connectivity, you can do upgrading over the internet. Okay, without you downloading the software because the client software is intelligent enough to communicate with the exact cloud server to download the correct installation file. And that's why in terms of scalability, in terms of changing the, the, the license, in, in, in terms of software updates, it is very simple. When it comes to productivity, definitely nowadays, whenever a user purchase a CCTV, everyone asking, okay, what functions, uh, what is the functionality a CCTV product have or a camera product has, okay, and how this function able to help to improve my the security of my premises, okay, and that's where. We have this thing called tender. The tender inside has tender requirement. Oh, the product that we propose must comply to A, B, C, D, Z. Okay. So, exact, you are able to bring forward a series of productivity solutions to help the end user to manage the day to day surveillance of the premises. For example, we have this function. Uh, which is collaboration and sharing, what it gives you is the, the flexibility when you use different devices, such as a mobile, a tablet, a web browser, or even the exact vision client, that you are able to share the screen between each of the devices. Let's say, for example, okay, a security supervisor is walking around the premises okay he noticed there is some security issue okay he wants to notify the the <clears throat> the security guard in the security room that he wants a guard to be dispatched to this location so this supervisor if he has the exact vision mobile client on the tablet or on his phone, what he needs to do is basically launch the exact application, okay? Choose the camera that he wants the guard to focus. And from his tablet or phone, he can just send his phone screen over to the video wall in the security room. Okay, it is that simple. So with this itself, right, it will reduce the need for the, for the supervisor to communicate using words with the security team. Okay, the screen from his phone can be shared to any monitor in the security room or and even the video wall. So that is the functionality in terms of helping, okay, the supervisor and his security team to have a better communication and that give a full situation awareness and it also help in uh, boosting the productivity and the security of the premises. Then, most of the time uh, from the install, 
installer point of view or even the end user point of view, we always encountered these things say, oh, the camera, whether the camera is it in focus or out of focus. Okay, most of the time we do encounter this thing that like every three months, somebody must um, go through individual cameras to look whether the image is this focused or not focused. Or if it's not out of focus, they have to send someone okay, to uh, restore the camera, to adjust it back into focus. So how, how we do that is that uh, the security team or the maintenance team need to launch individual camera and look at the screen. And most product in the market, when you're trying to do a preview of the camera image, okay, by default, it always launch the video. And we know that IP camera versus analog camera, okay, the speed of retrieving the video, the analog camera is much, much faster than IP video, okay? This is the same throughout all the products. So how in exact we solve that problem? We have this feature called rapid preview. So this rapid preview allow you to have a, a ability to change the mode. Whether when you mouse over the camera, you want to see a video or you want to see just one frame. Means a still image. So by having this feature is that and presenting a still image, okay, instantaneously you will be able to know whether the camera is in focus or out of focus, okay, versus a video. Because if you launch a video, number one, it takes at least one to two seconds, okay, uh, depending on network for the video to come out. Then because video is a uh, uh, moving frames. So it takes some time for you to identify whether the camera is in focus or not. But this is not a case when you come to still image. So what Isaac does is that when you choose this rapid preview mode, it will basically display on the, the screen of the exact client one frame of the camera. And that's it. So instantaneously from there, you can you are able to solve two problems. Number one, whether the cam camera, uh, somebody has shifted the position of the camera. Number two, you will know whether the camera is in focus or not. Okay, and this image will appear in mere milliseconds. Less than one second, a, a, a camera frame will appear. So this is good. Let's say, for example, if your site, you have, if a site you have hundreds of camera, okay, by just mouse over, you are able to comb through the hundreds of camera within a few minutes, okay, versus your launching video. So that is the toggle mode that you can toggle between one frame and a constant continuous video. Then, um, beside these useful features to help in ensuring all the camera position and the focusing it is in top, top quality. We also provide the, the feature to help the security guard or the team, okay, to remember the position of each camera in the premises. Because most of the time we will encounter when we are following somebody uh, inside a building, and the building where you have many cameras, when this person walk around the building, we always encounter the problem of uh, trying to pull up the next camera as the person walks out of that room. Okay, to solve that, we have the ability to do tracking. So by doing, by, by creating and, and associating the cameras, okay, at each of the location, exact vision will help the security operator to act correctly and accurately pull out the next camera and present it on the client. So during the configuration that time, right, we will do an association, okay, 
to all those boxes that is in pink, okay, the camera that is behind and looking at this particular area. So by clicking on those pink boxes, right, it will pull the next camera. And with that itself, right, the security card do not need to use a map to follow a person around the premises. Neither do he need to remember the position of each of the camera because everything is managed by exact, uh, exact client itself. So uh, in terms of rapid um, following of the person or a suspicious person around the premises, it will be quick and simple. Then, earlier I, I mentioned a bit of, about um, integration, okay? We have this integrated control. This integrated can control, we can use it either to perform functions of the NVR, or we can use, use it for <coughs> integration with other systems, such as access control, um, fire alarm, or and so forth. So how this thing works? is that within the exact itself, right, at individual camera tiles, okay, we have this uh, overlay, which we call, uh, we, which, which we have this overlay, okay, of individual cameras. So we are able to attach and associate within individual ca cameras certain key commands that uh, the guard wants to control, okay? Let's say, for example, if I, con if I link it to a door, okay? This camera is overlooking a door, so the control uh, will be release the door, okay? Enable, disable the card reader, okay? Or let's say, for example, if I have a camera pointing, let's say, at a, at, at a chiller, okay? If I have integration, with the power supply or the information system of the chiller, then I will have function such as turn off the chiller or uh, turn on and turn off the chiller. So this overlay, okay, it is associated to individual cameras. Okay, and these individual cameras are able to function independently from the rest of the system. So with every button down there that or association that we created, right? Okay, we are able to manage that particular location that this camera is looking at. So with this itself, right? Uh, the what it gives the guard is readily uh, ability to com control the situation. Okay, he has full control of the situation. So besides that, we can add other. Uh, exact vision function as well, such as you want to do a exact replay, you want to enable, disable, suspect tracking overlay boxes, etc. So there are lots of functionality that's inside this association function that is a overlay over the camera image. Then, uh, besides that, um, most of the time we see is as time goes by, every a lot of sites they are very concerned, okay, with the uh, CCTV recording. CCTV recording becomes more and more important nowadays, okay, uh, because it can serve as an evidence and 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 most of the time, right? Everyone will asking, oh, if if I have a CCTV recording, let's say my site, uh. Uh, has a fire, okay, uh, am I able to do disaster recovery? Uh, how am I going to ensure uh, my CCTV um, video is, is safe in another place? So we have a function called the off-site search. What this function does is that you are able to have your constant video recording, okay? Uh, this is our exact vision hardware called the um, Z series, this is the NVR. The S series is our NAS. Okay, then uh, we also have um, Z Vision H camera as well. So the beauty of this uh, feature 
it's a it's allow you to have two copies of the video <clears throat> you can have the video within the nvr itself and at the same time the nvr will also create a duplicate okay a duplicate copy and deposit into a nest okay the nest is either at this central location or it can be a remote location and you are able to create a schedule okay to do this automated uh, archiving so and the beauty of our this exact vision client is that even if the camera or the nvr is not reachable the exact client is intelligent enough to be able to query the video footage directly from nest so what you see will be uh the 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 functionality will be exactly okay as what you do for a the actual recorder itself so earlier i mentioned in terms of usability our uh software client design is the same um the look and feel is the same so similarly when the user operates and playback video from the nest the functionality is also the same so there is no need to relearn anything at all okay so um so with the off-site search okay and archive functionality it helps the site or the user to ensure that there is a redundancy okay in terms of uh, when when they want to plan for a disaster recovery so in terms of playing back the video it is basically just start the exact vision client and just play back so there's no need to do any what uh database recovery reinstallation of any software whatever sorts totally don't need you just basically as per normal start the exact vision client and just play back directly from the nest so we are able to further help in automating the security monitoring of the premises. <clears throat> Within the product itself, right, we have a series of controls uh, to enable um, triggers to notify the security when there are events happening. Okay, the events could be triggered by inputs, can be by text, video analytics, or even integration at all as well. In terms of the, the uh, functionality that we to trigger, okay, like for example, a video pop-up, an audio tone, okay, or a digital preset. Let's say I have a pan tube zoom camera. So you can see this is our event monitoring uh, configuration and at the bottom down there with the word called event type these are the series of things that we can use it to trigger an event so the beauty here here is that let's say if i have a video analytic integration such as license plate car license plate recognition so i can configure the exact to watch and monitor for this car plate number once the car plate number appear Okay, exec will automatically do a video pop up as well as sound a siren and uh, uh, sound or siren as well. So these are the things that can help okay, the, the guard to automate okay, instead of requiring him to uh, monitor physically every single vehicle that comes, comes through the gate. So exec, in fact, we are able to do that automation. Okay, through our event triggering. So, um, in our newer release version, okay, we also have discovered that um, a lot of those security personnel, they usually, um, when come to hardware maintenance, when come to asset. Uh, management okay they they would want they usually keep separate record let's say for example perhaps on the map or perhaps creating some files to indicate those information so for exact vision what we do is 
uh, to, to better take care of this administration or documentation, right? We have all those information basically uh, <clears throat> tied into the exact vision itself. So we have this, this uh, feature down here. So what this feature gives you is that um, you are able to save within each of the camera configuration unlimited amount of data, okay? Such that, such as you can put things like the address, the location of the camera, some description of the room. Let's say, let's say, let's say uh, you want to track, okay, the date that this camera is installed, okay? You can key inside down there the, the serial number of the camera, the date of the date that this camera is installed, or let's say this room inside are some important things you want to, to remind uh, the, uh, the, the security person. Okay, you can also type inside this description down here, say, oh, in this room, okay, there must be total uh, seven tables. Okay, always check that there is seven tables. So you can put down there in those description and all this information will basically save with the exact itself. So it will be very useful in the sense that if anything or, or when when the, the staff or the security person want to check on anything, right? Basically, you can just retrieve it from the exact vision client. So this is unlimited storage of information. And basically, it will be very helpful, especially things like warranty. Okay, when is the last time this camera has been serviced? Okay, it serves as a, a historical record. Let's say, for example, if this camera always uh, out of focus, then you can put on there, camera always out of focus, uh, please review, etc. So this one will serve as a, a reminder or as well as a, a tracking history of the camera, of the camera as well as the camera location. Then for our Elastra camera, okay, we also have video analytics. So what we have done is instead of using the traditional methods of video analytics by having a separate recorder and a separate server, okay, right, for when, when used with Elastra camera, okay, we have the video analytics built inside our Elastra camera models. So with that itself, right, instantaneously, right, you are, when you deploy the camera, right, the camera is able to send the video analytics information over to the exact vision. So it, the number of video analytics that you see down here, we have object detection, abandon, and remove. Let's say, for example, we select the video analytics called direction. We want to capture vehicles that, that travels in the wrong uh, traffic direction. We want to capture all those, all those vehicles uh, driving against the traffic. So what we do is that within the Elastra camera, we just enable the direction, okay, uh, video analytics. So automatically, whenever the camera detects a driver that violates the traffic rules, instantaneously, it will notify the exact vision and the exact vision client will automatically notify this security guard. So that's the beauty of this Elastra camera. And on top of that, earlier I mentioned is um, we, are, we are able to install exact vision recorder, the NVR software inside the camera. And this functionality is, is uh, available with our Elastra camera. So with this itself, right, you are able to have a multi-functional Elastra camera that number one, fulfill the role as an IP camera. Number two, it is also an exact vision recorder. Number three, it also doing video analytics. And with this camera itself, right, you can deploy it anywhere you want, or even let's say at some remote site. Okay, let's say at some remote site, you want to monitor a uh, certain area such as a river to make sure no people doing illegal dumping, okay? Or uh, a certain street, 
to make sure that there is nobody doing some uh, illegal trafficking. So with this itself, uh, this solution, right, you are able to deploy either on battery or solar power or even fuel cells. So this, this whole uh, technology, okay, it makes the recording and the camera mobile. So earlier I mentioned integration. Okay, integration is very important. Okay, nowadays in 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 the surveillance, uh, I would say in the security world. Okay, integration is very very important nowadays. So in terms of integration, there are a few things we can do. Okay, either you invest money to do your own integration, or you get the manufacturer to do that. <clears throat> And the reason why exact vision is that popular is as a manufacturer, we take it as our responsibility to integrate with other manufacturer. Okay, once the integration has been set, we have integrated, we do not okay require any extra payment with this integration. Okay, because what happens is that the integration we have done with the different manufacturer, okay, we do not create a license model and charge our partners to use this integration. For exact, we basically give it up free of charge. So right now we have, uh, if you go to our exact vision website, right, we have uh, existing integration to many brands out in the market. In fact, we are one of the very few um, CCTV manufacturer that has such a wide range of um, integration with so many manufacturer and even for IP camera at manufacturer level, okay, we have over 2000 IP cameras that has been certified to work with exact vision. So in terms of integration, Besides access control, we also integrate with other video analytic manufacturer. We also integrate with the retail uh, analytics or point of sales system. So when it comes to uh, alarm intrusion system, okay, we also do high level integration with uh, other manufacturers product, not just our own. Okay, Then in intercom, <clears throat> we also have uh, integration as well. Okay, and of course, the PSIM, okay, the Fiscal Information Management. So the beauty is once with this exact uh, um, having an integration in those manufacturer, right, is that whenever you face any problem with the integration, you do not need to fix it yourself. Okay, you just notify us if the integration doesn't work, you notify us, we will communicate with the other manufacturer and get the problem fixed, okay? Instead of you uh, having the burden of trying to solve the technical issue. So that is the beauty of high level integration between manufacturers, okay? You don't need to become a middle person to solve the problem. Let the manufacturer like us solve the problem for you. Then we also have the ability for you to uh, do your own integration, okay? You can DIY your integration. The beauty for exec is we have uh, the ability to support TCP IP as well as RS-232 or RS-485 uh, serial types of data, uh, serial based type of data like ASCII 2. So with all these tags, okay, we can use it to do event triggering. And in terms of deployment, okay, you can use it like, for example, over here is uh, we can integrate with a point of sales, those serial based point of sales, or we also can interview, integrate with those customer service counter, those that issue a queue number. Okay, with, with this itself, right? Uh, if let's say we integrate with a queue number system, uh, putting in the text, 
So what I said able to do is that whenever the person's queue number comes in, okay, we will basically record the information. And this queue number will be tagged to a video. So let's say, for example, if the, the customer has some uh, issue with their purchase, so the storeholder, what he does is that he basically search the queue number and instantaneously it will pull the video Okay, so that the storeholder is able to play back the video to uh, uh, do investigation, whether is it the cashier uh, giving problem or the customer giving problem. So we can have integration with any type of text, okay, uh, connected to the exact vision, either through TCP, I would say, uh, either connect through TCP IP or connect to RS-32 or RS-485. Then um, if, let's say, if there's other development, okay, or you have other software or there's some software require video, okay? So instead of connecting to the IP cameras to pull the video for additional processing, you can basically connect to exact vision recorder. It has a built-in RTSP service, okay? And from there, once you connect exact vision ser server, right, you will have the ability to see which are the <clears throat> cameras that you want to uh, connect to. So with this itself, right, it will save you a lot of bandwidth in where traditionally you were required to connect to the camera. Most product will require to connect to a camera as well and the camera has to connect to the recorder. End up the camera is very busy using a lot of bandwidth because it needs to send two video stream, one to exact, one to the other system. But using exact vision recorder, you don't have such a worry, meaning that the other system only needs to connect to exact vision recorder using RTSP. Okay, that uh, means that you do not overstress the IP camera, and you will not result in creating additional bandwidth. So for integration uh, to the video, we have RTSP service. Then when it comes to reliable, reliability, most of the time we find whenever a network goes down, okay, definitely there will be some form of video loss, okay, recording loss. With exact, we have built-in network loss recording. So whenever a network goes down, okay, and as long as the camera is still got power, okay, the camera will store the video on his SD card. So once the network between the IP camera and the recorder resume, the exact vision will automatically pull those video recordings from the SD card and save it within its hard disk. So with this network loss recording protection, okay, we improve the reliability. We minimize the risk of having video loss when there's a network down or the network switch goes down. Then on top of that, in terms of the recorder, NVR to NVR, okay, we also have recorder redundancy as well. Okay, for exact, we support N to N, meaning that if you have 10 primary, you can choose to have 10 secondary or one secondary is up to you. So there is a flexibility because in some sites, the design is that uh, some customer, they want the, the redundancy to stretch across multiple buildings, okay, for fear of um, rec uh, recording loss if there's a network down. So we are able to fulfill that before because for exact, we support N is to N. So with this, with this itself, right, we also monitor the health of the recorder together with the camera, camera health. Then from the <clears throat> enterprise manager, you're also able to monitor the camera position. Okay, if someone were to change your camera position, there are 
images where you can save and can use it to compare against the live image. And on the hardware aspect, right, we have a very comprehensive hardware health monitoring. Okay, besides just monitoring the hard disk, whether the hard disk is, has crashed or not, we monitor additional information such as the fan speed, okay, the temperature, etc. Then through the exact vision client, you also can identify the individual hard disk. You can see the individual hard disk temperature, the rate status, okay, whether it's going to crash or not going to crash. That is the smart status, the smart attribute. Then you also are able to see it in a color chart, okay, the, the number of hard disks um, that the recorder has. Like for example, this example here is there are eight recorder, eight hard disks, and the color is in, in green, showing that they are all healthy. <clears throat> so whenever there is a CCTV, okay, definitely uh, we definitely try our best to make sure whoever operate the CCTV are accountable for, for what he is doing. Okay, we don't want uh, people to log into the system, extract videos uh, uh, for their own use of to upload into the social media. So within the exec itself, right, we have a full wealth of uh, controls over there. We can even create a time schedule when certain operator able to log in. Okay, if somebody wants to log in temporary within exec, we are able to create a temporary login credential as well. Okay, we also can set a mandatory password expiry. Okay, so in addition, the administrator is also able to capture very detailed uh, audit trails. Okay, let's say for example, if we found that, oh, there is a leak of video, the administrator able to go within the exact vision to search which is the user uh, who play the video or export the video from that specific camera. So with this itself, right, uh, we are able to uh, pinpoint <clears throat> and apprehend the person who abused the CCTV system. So with that itself, right, the, what Exact Vision able to bring forward is a single box, okay? The Exact Vision recorder, besides fulfilling the basic, okay, CCTV requirement, okay? We also have our access control product built in within the same box at no additional cost, okay? That access control product is called CanTech. So with Exact Vision itself, right? <clears throat> we are able to give a one-stop shop solution whereby in a single box, you can do function as CCTV, access control, intrusion control, okay, and video analytics. So it's an all-in-one complete solution. <clears throat> so, but many people was, will mention, okay, if I have a complete, complete security solution, if, the product is being compromised, means I attacked by cyber hacker, which means that all my data and all my control over the premises will be uh, compromised. The answer is yes, it will be compromised. If you put all your eggs in one basket, if some cyber hacker attack that uh, system, then everything is compromised. Okay, And that's why for us, um, Taiko, we have our in-house cybersecurity team, okay, who will ensure that every software and hardware that we provide go through the nice necessary cybersecurity uh, checks. So every of our product development, we have to go through a series of checklists, okay, to ensure not only the software bugs, but security uh, threats as well. We use industry tools, okay? Those industrial tools uh, that is available in the market to check 
on the cyber uh, the cyber threats of our products. Okay, we don't be merely rely on our own uh, knowledge, but we make use of other third parties products as well. So we have a step by step um, step by step. Um, <clears throat> development cycle, okay, whenever our product, okay, before it's being released, we have to go through a series of processes before it is released, okay? The reason why is we need to make sure whenever we release a product in the market, okay, it is not vulnerable, okay? And the, the product has been built, okay, up to our satisfaction that it will not compromise our partners as well as the end users um, trust in us. Then, when our product has been uh, deployed in the market, okay, it doesn't mean our responsibility just stop there. We also have built-in processes in the company, in our Tyco, to make sure whenever there are new threats in the market, okay, how do we respond and how do we resolve such a threat? So, um, like for example, uh, many years ago, there is this uh, Intel CPU, okay, uh, um, threats. Okay, we also come up with advisor. We also come up with a solution on how to fix this issue. So this is a basically a day-to-day -day event. Okay, whenever we have product on the market. We have our cybersecurity team has to listen, okay, have to watch, have to monitor all those cybersecurity threats. And uh, if our products do threaten by these new threats, okay, they will inform uh, our engineering team who will look through the codes to make sure that, uh, to check whether are we at risk. If we have risk, then we need to come up with a solution, a fix. To resolve this issue. So with that, that's the end of my presentation. So um, anybody, any questions? Okay, Anthony, thank Anthony for your presentations. Allow me for a few moments. I speak in local language with Uh, so, I can a presentation by the and I can mean it is no way I raise support man. I can have a kind of attendee young man, he changed up a tall show, more hold on. I know he nobody in some of that demo here. You did a sound of all in young pay job presentation and young means with all recording and young not he in a hot tone on a dry boy. Hey. ทางเอ่อกรมแซลชั่นนึงญาลิงไปออกให้อาจเอ่อเบอร์การเพรสเซนต์ลางเว้ยโอเคเอ่อเอาให้อาจเอ่อมีสมมุติว่าสตาร์
ដីសាញ់ដីសាញ់ណាបងរបៀបដីសាញ់អត់អីជាបឋមអាចមកគាត់ចិនទៅនៅពេលយើងស្ដាប់មានប្រជាជនមួយទីហើយយើងนั่นไงอ่าไอ้ไอ้គាត់ប្រៀនក៏បាននេះអីបញ្ចង់បានជាវាតុនយើងមានជាស្លាយសែនីងផ្សេងទៀតដើម្បីត្រេដែលតងន
Okay, uh, what, what I, I, for me, I have uh, one question, Anthony. Uh, example, like the customer, they already have their CCTV. Example, they have a uh, 10 brand, like the bank. Then they already use the other uh, the no. camera system, such as the uh, Hick Vision, example, like that. So are they able to use our ASAP Vision as a controller to monitor the so existing uh, system without any uh, changing their physical installation? Okay, uh, ASAP Vision, we are integrated to heat vision IP camera. Okay, so uh, however, exact vision is not integrate with the heat vision CCTV recorder, but we are integrated to heat vision IP camera. So what you need to do is, if the heat vision machine is the computer, you just reformat the computer and install it with exact. So you can connect back to all the camera. But if your heat vision is a is a embedded hardware, then you will need to replace it with a computer with exact vision. Then you can reuse all your heat vision IP camera. Okay, and then all the feature that you present at the moment, all are can use. Yes, all the camera can reuse, can be used. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, I think now they got one time in general. ຈະຫນາຄືຄອມມິງກາມາຣາຮິກວິຊັ່ນແລະບານປາຮາຢູ່ເຊີ້ເອີ່ອກົມຮູນໃນມີເນີ້ແປນ Okay, hello, Anthony. Uh, I would like to ask about the brand Dahua. For Dahua, is it okay to remove uh, just use uh, uh, your your uh, your main system and because all the sub brand are the whole brand. Dahua, we are uh, exhibition. We also in integrated with Dahua camera as well. In fact, on our website, um, we have a full list of those cameras that we have integrated with, and we also have the firmware model available. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, sorry, I, I can't hear. Any. Oh, uh, as a vision, we are in the... Oh, give me a second. Uh... Ooh, okay, uh, I believe you can hear me right because I saw my microphone is working. Yes, as a vision, we are integrated with Dahua cameras. Okay. Is there any specific specific uh, requirements for the for the site? or for your project or for the customer okay uh one question uh as i am getting not really all of your presentation i would like to ask about people counting for people counting to the shop hello yes yeah, for people counting to the to the shop, is the function available in your system, right? Uh people counting. Okay, for exact vision, we do not have a people counting video analytic built in. So we are able to integrate with any third party video uh people counting software. Earlier I mentioned in terms of integration, uh, we can do two things. Is that from exact, we can supply the video to the people counter using RTS key. And that people counter engine can supply the information back to exact vision using what I presented earlier, the DIY uh, integration using our ASCII tool 
uh, integration back to exact vision. Then on top of that, right, we are able to do a event trigger. Okay, for example, a video pop up when there is the overcrowding in the room. So it will be a two-piece solution, meaning that you have an exact vision, you have another software doing the counting of the people. Okay. Then exact vision will give the video to the people counting engine and people counting engine will give the information to exact and exact once the number of people reach right, it will basically do a video pop up. We can do that. Okay, okay. So, Got it. So, so this page here, at, at this URL link, which I just shared on my screen, this will show you all the integration, all the products that has been integrated with the uh, exact vision. So these are the list of the Tahua camera that has integration. So if we were to select, okay, go into the details. So from our website, it will tell you the firmware, okay, that we have done the integration. What are the various functionality <coughs> that we have tested and it works? Okay, this we information have we can find on website, right? Yes, this is the website, exact.com. Okay, got it. Uh, how about NVR? NVR, every uh, every location that are using the Hua or other brand, do we need to change or not? Okay, the NVR, you will have to change. Okay, but it depends. Let's say the Tahua can uh, the Tahua NVR is a PC based NVR. Means it is a computer. Then you basically reformat the computer and install it with Exact Vision. Okay, but if it's if it's if it's not a, a computer based recorder, then you have to change the Tahua recorder and replace with exact vision. The IP cameras you can reuse. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Anthony. These are the list of brands that we have integration. This is at factory level, meaning that you do not uh, uh, need to pay any money to have those camera integrated because we already done it with the manufacturer. Okay, Anthony, we got it. Thank you for your clear presentation, explanation too. Yeah, welcome. Hi, Anthony. Anthony, can you show something about our uh, Illustra camera? Okay. Right, these are our Illustra camera. So on our website, we have uh, many, many uh, products available okay, for our camera. And some models of our cameras okay, has built in video analytics. So in terms of our camera, we have many, many different series okay, and models. So if you're looking at uh, some specific one with the built-in video analytics, we have that on our standard series, okay, which is the V series. We have 
those uh, video analytics. Okay, for our pro series, uh, pro series, we have built-in video analytics. And recently, we are just launched a new Pro Gen 3 KPTZ camera. We just launched, that is a week ago. And this new uh, PTZ camera has uh, uh, built-in deep learning analytics. Okay, meaning that uh, it will able to adapt the camera, okay, to outdoor environment, and it will not be affected with things like shadow, rain, or or, or leaves, etc. So it automatically will detect and learn the situation. So we have those with built-in video analytics. And can you see the temperature of the human for this COVID period? Yes, our latest uh, just launched on the Pro Gen 3 PTZ camera, right? We are able to do object classification. Okay, it can identify a person, okay, based on the clothing that he wear, as well as identify that this is a person based on the face. Okay. So can 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 it can it link to other device to measure the temperature? I mean the human temperature for this uh, COVID period, example like this. Oh no, uh, we do not have a camera that is able to do temperature, uh, measure temperature. We do not have. Mm. Okay. Uh, the camera that we have, the thermal camera, is only available in US. Uh, it's not available in Asia Pac. We have thermal camera, but it's not available over here in Asia. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, we, have, we, have, we have thermal camera, but not available. So we only have uh, these, these cameras. Hello, Bob. Yeah. Uh, hello, Anthony. Yes. Yes, uh, I have two questions related to the video recording. Uh, one thing, uh, uh, you, uh, your presentation said that when the camera lost the connection to the recorder controller, it still can record video by itself by store on the SD card, right? Correct. Yeah. May I know? Uh, uh, how uh, how uh, how many the ma maximum the, the the storage or the SD card that is support? Okay, based on our calculation for a thirty two gig of 20. SD card, no thirty two thirty two three two three two gig. Ah, uh, uh, the we can store about uh five days of video. Five. Five. Five days. Five days. Five days. I mean, uh, we can store the five days of the video record. If we reduce the uh, video resolution, it can uh, uh, extend the, 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 the day to uh, store it. Uh, to store it. Yes. Let's say, for example, if you if you put the 32 gig, okay, is too for five days is too small. You can uh use a 128 gig SD card. And with 128 gig one. SD card, you can increase it like 20 days. 20 days. Yeah. But uh ma, ma, he, he wants to ask like that example, uh this uh, five day estimation is how many frames for the camera record? Is it is adjust it to oh. be lower so it can be extend more longer? Uh, is to, the the our test is is um two megapixel, twenty five frames per second. Uh, okay. One more thing. Could you uh, explain uh, again related to the with our recording the uh, uh, how many how many way can we uh, record the video? Uh, don't get the question. Able to repeat again? 
uh, related for the video recording. Uh, normally, the camera is stored with the NVR, right? Yes. And uh, I want to know uh, beside of the NVR, can uh, we uh, store the other storage like uh, the sun or not? Because when you do a uh, presentation, I I I I, I not cut uh, this uh, this point. Yes. Uh, for exact, we can re we can we can save the video either on the internal hard disk or we okay. can also save the video on a NAS. How about Sun? Let me let me show you. Ah. Uh, okay. So in terms of our product, okay, we have this called the S series. S series is a NAS. So within our website, it will let you know what is the maximum storage size. So we have that feature. Then we also have the hardware. We have many, many series. Okay, like for example, our this particular hardware, you also indicate information, okay, such as what is the read time. Okay, okay. that's on the hardware that we sell. Then it also show you how the drives looks like. Okay, it all around okay, of the recorder, how the back looks like. Okay, I got it. Any further questions? No, no, for me, it's uh, at all. Thank you, yeah. Welcome. Yep, yep. Anybody, any questions? Uh -huh. Maybe I'm not going to ask for the question. I'm going to ask for the question. I'm going to ask for Okay, Anthony, we are moving to the closing session now. Please allow me to minute I close the event. Okay, uh now Jung Yung Dal Maung uh uh the bank Jung uh moon chat down uh close uh a web net and you can recap no uh uh product use station take the main of him and you can uh Johnson control yung uh mean illustration, I mean exact vision here camera system and then you start with here camera movie here DVR movie camera then you are white bob that look at me look here the moon on the eye as the movie got a quality hardware command the movie here software the main solar server storage of clone then you are white bob people then here I like here window អស់អ្នកប្រើលើមិនសន្លេចនៅក្បាលជាលើមិនមានដូចក្បាលលើមួយអស់ងារមានមិនសិនវាយអំពីអាក់យើងសុខតែនៅផ្នែកខាងអន
ลยทำอะไรคือการเงียบอันสั้นเชียงเชียงปัจจุบันเพียบนั่นนะเชียงดำเนินการพิมพ์มูลในเกี่ยวกับการทำงานในเรื่องบ้านเองเกี่ยวกับการเข้าถึงมันโตนะมันโตแต่พนมาเกิดสมัยนั้นอ๋อสตาร์ดีปีดีมังทางพิจูโอเคเอ่อเจ้าเอ่อทางเข้ามาเมียนเป็นนั้นไอ้เอ่อชิคาสงครามบางวันเจ้าเอ่อเอาเนื้อเงินจมหน่อยไอ้เนื้อเงอันนี้มันสุดโดยชาวจีนนั่นเองก็อาจจะไปบ้านนั่งยืนนั่งเราอินเกตเป็นเดอร์โจ้นั่งยืนนั่งอินเกตกูก็มองสักทีพอคนจัดให้สับสับนาคร้อยในแผงเคลียร์ก็ยืนเอาประตอชมวยมีสันสนิทได้จอนสนกับตัวเล็กนี้สำหรับในทางอาศัยของตัวสิสต์มกันติดนะจังเมียนเป็นนักจมอ๋อคนโตเอเวอร์ไลท์จะเซ็นแซงชูฟอร์มีสันสนิทฟอร์ยูเพรสเซนต์ที่สุดเลยและอินเซอร์เวอร์ดีเคลียร์และอันดับสูงดีกับเรา Our exact vision and the loose draft that, and also saying for all attendees today for your time being, and I am happy for to see you all, and also want to see you all again in the next Tuesday for our second show system. So we having a nice day. I enjoy your weekend times, and we still keep uh, posting the question to us or any inquiry. Just let us know. Our team will contact you back. Okay. So thank you to all. So thank you everybody for attending. Okay, okay. so see you on yeah, Tuesday next week. See you on Tuesday. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.